Hey guys, it's me again. I'm back with another video, but you probably already knew that because you clicked the link. Anyways, it's the real senorina here, and here is another video. Waste my time trying to prove that I'm something to see. Oh, I the real ones ain't no one, the ones I do not, I don't need. Cause most see the vision, and I give reasons to believe. That I'm honest, I'm honest, I'm telling no lies when I so I had to switch up the tempo with this video because my last few videos have been kind of serious and I've been kind of preaching and I'm like this cannot this cannot be on my channel it's about we gotta switch it up a little bit and get away all those vibes those who positive like I, I mean always positive but those like serious vibes because I'm if y'all know me you know that I'm not serious all the time, so I can't do it. I can't. I can't put this on my channel because we're keeping it real all the time. And I need y'all to see the rest of me. I was so extra with that, y'all. I was like, the rest of me. But I need y'all to see that. I need y'all to see that. So, um, we're gonna do another story time, y'all. Okay, so we all know I got these nails done before Diamond, and I was getting my nails done. My birthday is next week so i'm trying to thug it out until then but y'all thugging i'm cripping at this point i'm throwing up sets i'm throwing them all up because <laughs> look at this oh my god so um i already told my girls we always do like a girls nail day that we could just go we're gonna have to get it done like tomorrow um so we're gonna get these nails done real soon y'all until then you know if i throw them up i throw them up um anyways back to the point the topic task at hand we're doing another video right now um i was like let me put out let me put out a story time and somehow this story just popped in my head and we're um actually it's funny that this cup is in front of me because we are doing a story about the time that i was in las vegas y'all don't know yet um some of y'all might know depending on if you're my friends or not but last year um was it last year yeah last year i was in a little situation i was in a relationship we were together for about was there something on my screen all right we were together for about six months in total it was about half a year um and disclaimer before i get any further in this story let me just say this let me just say this i have no ill feelings or negative vibes towards any of my exes whatever happened with us happened um so if i ever do a story time about any ex i'm just keeping it real with my people um i feel like people can learn from my lesson people can laugh from my lesson people could like just do whatever with my life experiences so if i ever put it out there to where i do a story talking about any of my exes i got love for all of y'all um it just didn't work out and it is what it is i'm not trying to sh show y'all in a negative light or anything like that because honestly no matter what we went through we all cool so before i even put this video out or go any further i just want to say that um i don't i don't want any bad blood from this video i'm just sharing a little story with my peoples because who knows you know the social media world is only so small and it's just destined to get in the hand of them so i just want to put all that out there let me take a drink on that note mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so yeah i spent a good amount of time in vegas and this pretty much narrows it down to one x i won't say any names because i'm not trying to put anybody out there like that all right so um this trip to vegas was actually my first time in vegas um going up again really 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 soon so i'm excited about that for a whole different reason um this time is definitely going to be to turn up and have a vacation um i went this time the first time because i was in a long distance we weren't in a relationship when I first moved out, or moved, I moved out there, you might as well say moved out there. When I first went out there, we were not in a relationship. Um, I was working from home, so I ended up staying for, my, for a very long time. I ended up staying for about five months because of a few different reasons. Um, but mainly because I was with somebody and we was out there. Yeah, I gotta do something with my hand. These sticks were like right here. So we, you know, if, if they pop up, they pop up. So sorry. Um... 
what was I saying? Yeah, so I was out there for a very long time because of this girl that I was dealing with at the time. And I want to say this story is about one particular night. Um, and it was actually the first night, you know, I had been in Vegas for months. I want to say it might have been two or three months after I had gotten to Vegas. You know, everybody knows Vegas is like turn up town. Like you got to go to this spot. You got to go to that spot. But I hadn't been to none of the spots yet. And the girl I was dealing with, she was older. Um, she was in her early 30s. So um, she was a person just like to work and go home and stuff like that. She was so young at heart, but she, as far as going out and doing all the other stuff, she wasn't with it. But me, I'm like, I'm in Vegas for my first time. I want to go out. I want to enjoy myself. I want to see what there is to see in the Sin City. Y'all feel me? And so I finally convinced her. We finally decided we were going to go out. We have been having a few problems so we, we determined we decided like it's gonna be a good night we're gonna turn up we're gonna go out it's my first time going out in vegas it was one of the the hottest clubs they have out there i forgot what the name of the club is i don't know why i cannot think of the name of this club but um i'm gonna tell y'all the story about how my night went wrong it went wrong y'all um so I, I was in at, th at this point I think we were in a relationship because we'd actually gotten a relationship we like made it official while I was there um and ooh, I just burped it, it tasted like I'm drinking wine so I feel like it tasted like wine mixed with the food I ate earlier it wasn't very pleasant I thought I thought I, thought I felt another one coming but it, it's over it's gone um anyway so i was excited like we went out with her friends we were supposed to have a good night we promised each, like we literally promised each other because we had been going through stuff we we're like we're gonna have a good night we're gonna put it all past us blah blah blah, 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 blah. okay so we get to the point where we're going out like we get there we was all excited we was a little it we was just like ready we was ready for the night now, of course, I'm wearing a dress. I don't remember exactly what I was wearing, but I was wearing a dress. Yeah. If I know all y'all fans feel me out there. You don't like to hold your shit. You know, you got your phone, your card, your wallet, you, you, well, your, your phone, your card, your whatever you got with you. You don't want to hold it like all night while you're in the club. Like it's, it's bad enough that and you don't want to carry a purse. So, you know, you just hand it over to Bay. And maybe takes it off your hands. Now this brings me to another important subject. I don't do the whole going and phones things in relationships. I did it once before when I was young. Um, I used to be like, let me have your password. Let me have this. Let me have that because I don't trust you and this and that. And then I realized, I realized years ago that, that guys, what happens in the and the dark will come to the light always it just always comes to the light like and if you go looking for something you gonna find it so i i stopped the whole let me have your password let me have your this let me have your that let me check your phone because first of all that's one too tiring two too much and three like i shouldn't have to do all that why did i have to do three with the broken nail i feel like my point is not even proven anymore <sighs> anyways it's just it's just doing too much um i personally don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that's always up in my phone and i don't want to be that person that's always up in somebody's phone like it just it just shouldn't have to be like that you should have trust in the relationship to know that your partner your partner is not texting another bitch or doing on this and that and come on, we all know the red flags are there. If somebody is really dealing with somebody to the point where you gotta look through their phone, you gonna know it. You gonna know it. I feel like this is my pointer stick, like you're a teacher. Like, let's go to page 18 so I can teach y'all some shit. All right. Anyway, so yeah, that was my side note. And we're getting back to the main topic now. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so. With all that being said, 
in this relationship like i told y'all we had a few issues we had a few issues um one of them she she wasn't really trusting in me and I, I don't really know why i never really gave her a reason not to trust like i was in vegas and i could have been i could have been i could have been doing the most but i wasn't i was always like at her house basically so i don't really know why she didn't trust me but i'm the type of person like you know i'm gonna work with you like while we're together i'm gonna work with you so if you feel like you got you got something that bothers you like i'm gonna try to fix it so i did i gave her my phone password even though i don't believe in it, i gave her my phone password and i even gave her my phone we was out of the club i was like babe here hold my my id my key or uh, no my id my debit card and my phone because i don't want to hold it so we turning up y'all we at the club I, I look over next thing i know i see her going through my phone and i had to think to myself like is this girl really in the middle of the club checking my phone right now and the next thing you know, my phone gets thrown at me and she, storm, she storms off. So, of course, what did I do? What did I do, y'all? I chased after her. I realized, no, before she storms off, she's like, what the fuck is this? And it shows me this message and it was a message be between somebody that is actually nothing like that. Like, it's literally nothing like that. It's somebody in my family it's a message between her and me and she totally took it the wrong way like definitely took it all the way the wrong way and like got mad and like just stormed off and like um me and her best friend like followed her out the club we were following her out the club and um next thing you know we're like all outside and we're talking about the shit let me just fast forward to the point of topic where actually no i'm not gonna tell you i'm just gonna finish my story i don't plan none of this out y'all i just i just i'm like oh i'm gonna tell them this story and this happens so if i'm ever like poo, lost in space it's just because I, I need to figure out how i'm gonna present this to y'all i need to give it to you the right way okay so i storm out i follow her i'm just like babe what are you doing like we promised you're gonna have a good night why are you tripping over nothing like this is my cousin like why are you mad right now and so she like blows up and she's like at this point i have all my, i have my phone i have everything well not everything i just have my phone and i'm just like come on like let's go back in the club let's not do this her friend is like let's not do this and like i said we have been having problems i was out in vegas and i was alone like i didn't really know anybody like that there i knew people but it wasn't like that and like her people was really good to me like her friends you know like they were there for me when i needed someone to talk to like they they were there for a lot of our issues um it was a very very toxic relationship y'all like i promise you a, a cancer and a taurus i don't know why they say that we're good matches but we was not whew, we was not good matches like it was it was toxic from day one day one everybody could see it everybody knew it my friends her friends they was all like get out and i don't know why we stayed in i don't know why we stayed in but we stayed in um so yeah her friend you know her friend knew how much i cared about her her friend knew like how much like i was just focused on her so her friend was like bro you're tripping it's not that serious like let's just go enjoy our night like samantha is for you like i see that everybody sees that you should see that let's just not ruin the night right now and my ex is just like okay 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 but let me talk to her let me talk to her so when her friend leaves she's like so let me see your phone i want to go through all of your messages right now let me see your phone and i'm just like no like i'm not we're not doing this right now not because i didn't I, not because i had something to hide but because i did not want to do this at that point in time like she could have seen my phone when we got home she could do whatever she wanted to do i had obviously i gave her my phone y'all i gave it to her and this is why i don't do the whole phone thing like for real this is another reason why because i gave her my phone i gave it to her and she knew i messed up she knew my password so much she knew my password that she could just go in my phone at any point in time just like she did 
so I'm getting blown because she's not letting it go and I'm I know I'm not doing nothing like I'm so loyal to this girl and it's frustrating because she's sitting she's sitting here blowing nothing into something and like this is the first time I have been out in Vegas and I have been there for months and it was supposed to be a good night I'm just so irritated I'm like trying to beg her like to get it together and she's just like just so mad and like let me see your phone like she wouldn't let it go so I was like you know what I can't do this right now like I was feeling like overwhelmed so we were the club just like most clubs in Vegas we were in a club that was inside of a hotel casino blah 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 so this is the story y'all of how I got left outside the club for over two hours probably going on three hours <laughs> three hours um so tell me why I go outside like because I like wanted to get away from her like we was in like this fake outside area but I went like literally outside the club because I'm like I can't I can't be around you right now like you're doing too much and it's like it's upsetting me because it's just like it's killing the night for no reason like I'm with your people your people are telling you to chill and you just not chilling um and so I go outside and then I realize when I, when I cool down like it was like five minutes later I realized I don't have my ID so I go up to the bouncer and I ask the bouncer can I go in like I've been here before I got my little stamp in my hand can I go in they're like nah we need to see your ID again so like I gotta sneeze huh huh okay they have um so they're like no so of course I text her I'm like you got my ID I can't get in without it y'all tell me why she says no not until you send me a copy of all of your messages in your phone dead ass y'all she literally told me no not until you send me a copy of all of your messages in your phone who says that like you got me outside this club and you won't bring me my id you got my card i'm at your house like staying at your house i can't go nowhere y'all i could not go nowhere the only thing i had my was my phone and it was like on 20 percent that shit was on e bruh tell me why i was so upset i was so mad i'm like this is the most fucked up shit ever not only not only do you get so mad over nothing but now you're leaving me outside the club and this girl would not let it go she would not let it go she, literally three hours later like i said i was in vegas i was done i was done at this point I was just like, you know what? I don't need this shit. I don't need to deal with this. I don't need I don't need nobody like this. So I'm calling people like, I need to figure out how to go home. I need to figure out how I'm gonna get my ass back to Florida. Because I can't do this no more. She finally comes out like, hey, like comes up comes up to me like, oh, we all going to the next spot. You coming? what am i going with you two hours later am i going bruh i was so confused i was like are you really asking me this right now like i was so mad i was like come on come on let's go her friends were all there two hours later i had already made my arrangements i knew exactly where i was going next I have been texting her the whole time, like, bring my stuff out, bring my stuff out. She wouldn't bring nothing out, y'all, nothing. And then she finally comes out two hours, almost three hours later. Almost three. And so at this point, I'm like, I just need to go. I just need to go. So, tell me why.
tell me why she's still like, come on, let's go, let's go to the next spot. I sat down. She still wouldn't give me my stuff. I was like, I'm going to be right here. I sat my ass down, and I didn't move. She goes up to her friends like, bro, she's, she's not coming. She's not coming. So, I, like I said, I have been calling people. So, I got a phone call, and I answered it. The next thing I know, she comes up to me. This girl came up to me. I'm getting mad again just thinking about it. She comes up to me. She sees I'm on the phone. She storms up to me like, bitch, who the fuck you talking to? Y'all, I lost it. And she said it so loud. I lost it. I was like, I didn't know what to do. I just uh, Y'all, when I tell you I And I, I didn't even do it to hurt her. I didn't do it to hurt her, but I was just like in shock. Like she literally just tried my life like this in front of everyone. In front of everything. Like I was just like like knock some sister to you. I was like Y'all, I'm I'm promised like it wasn't hard enough to hurt her. Like, but it was just like my arm was moving and I couldn't stop it. It was just like a reflex. Like, I just, I, I couldn't help it. I was already mad as hell. I was already mad as hell. And then she had nerve to disrespect me in front of all these random ass people in the club after leaving me outside the, or random ass people in the casino after leaving me outside the club for over two hours. I was just like, y'all. I didn't mean to like I turned from Samantha to Savage okay zero to hundred will real quick okay because I, w I was done <sighs> so I say all this to say <laughs> well that was just my story time I mean I don't know if y'all know about lesbians and maybe we just don't learn our lessons because we didn't break up after that like we ended up getting into like I, I was like I swore I was done with her after that I like you know blah 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 um she ended up you know saying I'm sorry like apologizing a million freaking times so we ended up having like bomb ass makeup sex and then that was it but <laughs> Um, that was my story on how I slept with my ex. So, I just had to share something with y'all. Just had to give give you a little something, 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 something. Because we've been, we've been a little bit, we've been a little bit too here and I wanted to be here. Um, I hope none of y'all, oh, I just burped again. I hope none of y'all judge me for this. I promise I'm not abusive. But I felt like, I felt like I just, I was possessed. I was possessed. That's all, that's all I can say is I was possessed and, you know, um, that's it. It happens. So, or maybe it doesn't, but it, sh it shouldn't happen. I don't condone putting your hands on anybody, but like. I couldn't help it like oh I don't even mean to laugh but I couldn't help it um I and I apologize for that like I really did like when it happened I was just like oh, I can't believe I just hit you but I, but I just hit you like I can't believe you just did that but you know like it's just kind of one of those you had to be there you had to see all everything and be in my shoes to truly understand but how many of you guys have been in like a toxic relationship and stayed? How many of you guys have been with somebody that you know you shouldn't be with and everybody else is telling you, you need to leave this person alone, but you stayed? Why do you think you stayed? I honestly, I honestly asked myself this question about this relationship because from jump, like we couldn't, we could not get it together. Like we could not get it together like all of our pieces just wasn't fitting we couldn't get it together um 
let me know talk to me y'all y'all know i love to talk but i love to hear y'all too um let me know if you've been there if you've ever been in a situation where like somebody put you out of your element and you didn't even mean to be there let me know um and i'm just so so excited to, to share my stories with y'all i love using this platform to let y'all get in, inside of me oh like even when i was saying i'm like oh that sounds like ugh. um inside of me though like let inside my head inside my mind inside my heart um i love this because so many people before i started doing these youtube videos thought so different of me um and i feel like more people are understanding me as a person more people are understanding my heart my nature like my my everything and i know that i'm not perfect so i definitely want to put some you know some of my mistakes out there some things that i went through some things that maybe y'all can either learn from or laugh from shit i don't freaking know that i learned from it y'all probably gonna laugh at it but that's what life is you know um people are put in your life to show you things about yourself to show you things that um you need to go through to truly um uh, understand certain things about life and i i and i can say i gained a lot of patience a lot of knowledge um about myself from from that relationship because i learned you know what i needed from someone um but yeah how many how many of y'all have been in toxic relationships um and stayed and why why did you stay what about that person what about that relationship that made you be like mm, i need to hold on to this because i held on for like six or seven months and like at this point we're cool enough to be at the point where like we can text each other hey how you doing and genuinely well i at least genuinely care how she's doing as a person but that doesn't mean you need to be in my life like that like you know you can just stay apart of whatever it was so yeah um this is my story time for y'all today i'm definitely gonna have way more mini story times for you guys um like i said i just had to switch it up a little bit thank you guys as always for all your support make sure to like comment and subscribe to this video and to my channel i really fucks with y'all and thank y'all for fucking with me all right until next time, y'all. Bye.